What's up everybody, today I'm back and I'm here to maximize your fear. If you, right there, enjoy scary and mysterious videos, then go ahead and smash the like buttons mom for more content just like this. So today, I'm gonna dive deeply into the mysterious world of the paranormal. Now, a lot of people believe in the paranormal and a lot of people don't believe in the paranormal. Throughout my life, when I ask people if they believe, I get mixed responses. I would say it's about 50-50. But I believe that this video that I got here for you guys today has the potential to change a lot of minds. Now, I do not know if I believe in everything paranormal, but I definitely believe that there is more than meets the eye in this world we live in. <laughs> possibility there could be unknown entities in the skies above us, I believe that, but could there be even closer than that, right here? It actually shows her son's ghost. I have 150% believing behind there is life after death. I seen an actual figure standing two feet in front of my face that scared the living daylights out of me. There are just so many unexplainable things that happen, and that is what I'm going to be sharing with you guys today, incidences of unexplainable paranormal and supernatural occurrences. So first, I'm gonna be talking about a Facebook user who caught something so unexplainable while live streaming on their Facebook. Now, I want you guys to know before I tell you about this, a live stream is exactly what it sounds like. It's something people do on social media platforms where people come and watch them live. It's a lot like live TV. So this being said, there cannot be any way of my knowledge that people can edit footage on a live stream because it's live. There is no editing done, no cuts, no special effects. It's just a live stream. So I'm gonna go ahead and dive into this now. A Facebook user by the name of Shy Unique Legacy, what a name, <laughs> did a live stream on June 8th, 2020 at 8.48 p.m. She live streamed from her home in Fort Pierce, Florida. This 31 minute and 23 second video shows her talking about how she's been seeing things in her backyard. She does not exactly specify what she's been seeing, but she seems very on edge and spooked. Also, I personally went through all of Shy Unique's posts and everything she's ever posted and uploaded onto Facebook, and she does not seem like the type of woman that is seeking attention. She just uses Facebook for friends and to post her family and post updates on what she's doing and all kinds of stuff like that, like the normal Facebook mom type thing. And I do not personally see her trying to fake this for views, especially because of the title she chose for this live stream. The title she chose for this live stream is Man, listen, <laughs> how is that letting people know that there's something paranormal happening in her video? There's just no way she's doing this for clout, no way she's doing this for views, attention, or anything like that. She was just simply live streaming and she happened to catch this on camera. In this live stream, she is sitting at her door smoking what looks like a cigarette. All of you watching, do not smoke, do not vape, for it is bad for your lungs. Anyways, she's sitting there and smoking, and she decides to open the door to show her viewers where she had her paranormal encounter. She begins to show her yard for a while, and then out of nowhere, a 10 foot tall behemoth of a shadow can be seen sprinting sideways at the end of her yard. It is white and translucent, and obviously could not be a human. 100% this is not a human at all. Most people probably think when they watch this, oh, well, this had to be edited. But remember, as I said earlier, this is a Facebook live stream. It is a live video. It cannot be edited. No special effects can be added. So how did she just catch this 10 foot tall, terrifying shadow creature sprinting towards her in her very own yard? It just doesn't make any sense. It is truly unexplainable and it is leaving viewers perplexed. I'm now going to show the highlights of her live stream. However, if you want to take it upon yourself and view the full live stream, you can go to her Facebook and watch it. I will also link it below. But watch my video first, don't leave yet. You gotta see my highlights. You gotta give me that watch time, come on. So anyways, here's that footage. Viewer discretion is advised, as it is very scary, and if you are easily scared, then I do not recommend you watch this. Here is the footage. I'm telling you guys, it's weird ish. Going on around this motherfucker dog. Like, oh god, it's some weird ish going on around this shit. Like, I just really, I'm, I'm really just at my fucking mind right now, because I really think I just saw what the fuck I just saw, like, and just to show y'all that I ain't, I ain't capping on no screenshot shit. Or editing no photos or none of that shit. I'm finna open my back door and show y'all that the picture came from the in the back of my yard. Let me see if I can flip this around. That's the exact motherfucking uh, spot now. That's my backyard. I'm gonna zoom it in a little piece. 
is the this is the exact spot that I just <laughs> Wow. So let me know in the comments what you guys think. Do you think this is legit? Do you think this is edited? Do you think this is fake? Let's go ahead and get into the next story. So for this next story here, it is about a YouTuber, a big YouTuber, who had a personal experience with a ghost, something paranormal, a shadow figure, and he told the story, and it is beyond believable. You may have heard of the YouTuber and scary storyteller, Mr. Ballin. He makes all kinds of videos where he tells stories and different crime stories, paranormal stories. One of his first videos he posted two years ago on this channel has acquired 7.5 million views and it is titled, What I Saw in My Room Still Haunts Me. It is a 38 minute and 54 second long video of him telling his very own first hand account of a time that he encountered a ghost or something supernatural. Mr. Ballin is a very credible source. He has 6.24 million subscribers as we speak, over 250 videos, and he only tells true stories. When I first watched this video of him telling the story, it stuck with me for so long and I still remember to this day. I watched it like around the time that it came out, like two years ago. It still sticks with me to this day. It's just a crazy, terrifying story. Like, I've never heard a story like this before. And he tells it so well. And you can just see the fear on his face and you can see he's genuine. You can see that he's not faking this story. I'm really good at telling when videos are fake. There's a lot of videos that I'll watch and I'll be like, oh, that's obviously fake. But this one here, I watched it and I had no doubt in my mind that this was a 100% true story. It is a story about him going up to a cabin with his buddy after his buddy's dad had just recently passed. He stays up there for three nights, and the first night, he wakes up in the middle of the night, and he sees a huge, tall, dark shadow figure slowly enter his room and floats into his room, and he's watching it the whole time, and he's frozen with fear. He just watches it as it turns real quick over to his buddy, and it leans over his buddy, and it bows down into him and falls down through him into the floor. This happens all three of the nights. He did not get like any sleep the entire trip. At the end of the whole trip, he tells his friend's mom what he had just experienced and told her all about his experience. And she said that she saw it too and that she thinks it's her husband. Mr. Ballin, ever since that experience, he has never gone back to that cabin and he doesn't really hang out with those people anymore. It affected him for the rest of his life. And that's why it's called what I saw in my room still haunts me because it still haunts him to this day. And it even haunts me, man. That thing, that was a freaking crazy story, but if you guys want to listen to this whole story yourselves, it's on his channel, Mr. Ballin. You can go ahead and search it up and watch it. But obviously, like I said earlier, don't leave me yet. I'm going to go ahead and show you some highlights from it. If you want to know further, go ahead and watch his video. Shout out Mr. Ballin for this horrifying, true story. Here are the highlights of his story. So it walks down the aisle and it's right next to me. And it does another quick movement, but it's facing away from me now. And it bows onto and then down through Nick's bed and disappears. And I remember the only thing that I did that really made this real, looking back at it, is I put a knife in the springs above me. So I'm in the bottom bunk. My heart just sunk. It walks into the room, goes right past the foot of my bed, and I'm, again, petrified. And I remember what happened the night before, and I'm just thinking to myself, please don't bow into me, please. Whatever happens, just don't do that. It turns away from me and does the same thing it did the night before, folds onto Nick and disappears into the ground. At the end of it, or towards the end, she just kind of stops me. She's like, John, I, I heard it last night. It's just my husband. And I was like, no, that, 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 that cannot be, cannot be what it is. She was like, I heard him open the door. I heard the pot fall. I heard him walk through the house. I'm assuming he went into to Nick's room again. And I'm like, what is happening?
All right, so I think that's going to be it for this video. If you want to see more paranormal evidence and stories and yeah. videos and such, just like this one, let me know in the comments. Let's get 50 likes on this one. Go ahead and, like I said earlier, if you haven't already, smash the like button's mom. And if you have already, might as well go for two rounds, you know what I mean? Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope that your fear was maximized. I'll see you in the next one.